decided once I set up my lighting system to do a little bit of a test on potting mixtures. So I'm going to grow some lime basil that I got from Baker Creek in all 12 of these cells. On the left side, it's just peat moss. On the right side, Miracle Grow Seed Starting Potting Mix. So, look at the ingredients on this thing. Formulated from mo uh, peat moss, perlite, fertilizer, and a wetting agent. Okay, so we know it doesn't need fertilizer because seeds have that all stored up in them. Uh, enough to get started. Uh, I didn't use perlite. On, in my own mix, uh, probably should have. And notice this is 85 to 95 percent peat moss. So let's say it's 90 <clears> percent. <throat> that means there's only a 10 percent difference between this and this, which I don't think justifies a five dollar bag of this this stuff. This is not a very big bag. And notice the nitrogen, phosphate, and potash. Those are only 0.03% each. That's nothing near any sort of fertilizer that you would actually add to plants. It wouldn't make any difference. So there's practically no fertilizer in it. I just, I'm cheap, and I just don't see buying this little bag for five bucks every time I want to start seeds so i do want to do a test where the exact same seeds from the same place under the same lighting getting the same atmosphere conditions with the same uh, amount of watering uh, how they'll do uh, one thing i did notice was it was easier to add water to the miracle grow seed starting potting mix and I believe that's because, the, maybe because of the perlite, but also um, I think there's a little compost in there too, although it doesn't say. The water tended to sort of pool up over the top of these, and so I kind of mixed it up with my fingers so that it would all get evenly uh, moisturized. Okay, so I added three seeds to each one of these cells, and I noticed something really strange. They're just little tiny black seeds, but then when I added them, I don't know, they got this weird white coating on them. See those white things? They were originally completely black. And in a matter of seconds, that happened. And it happened in both sets. See them? There's three there, it was in that triangle. Huh. I don't know. So I'm going to cover these in their mix um, a couple of millimeters, just a tiny little bit of covering. I'm going to spray them and then we'll see. Left side is just peat moss, the kind you can buy a giant bag of for 12 bucks. It's like four cubic feet or something. And then the miracle Grow potting, uh, seed starting potting mix on the right. Well, it's been a few days and Let's see how the basil's doing. Okay, so the Miracle Grow mix with that one, I've got over half germinated already in just a couple of days. And no apparent germination with just the peat. That's disappointing. All right, we are now seven days into the growing of these basils, these lime basils under exact same conditions. On the left, uh, we have the uh, them growing in Miracle Grow uh, seed starter mix. On the right, we have just peat. And none of them have come up in seven days on the right. On the left, 15 out of 18 seeds have come up. So I'd say that's um, pretty substantial. Um, I'm gonna try this again next time with about half peat, half compost uh, against the miracle Grow, and see if that changes anything. Because I'm thinking the peat 
is too uh, too moist, too thick. It's like a sponge, and maybe it's not allowing the seeds, uh, the air, or whatever that they need. So I will be trying it again. But yeah, at this point, the Miracle Grow is doing much much better than just peat for seed starting for basil's anyway. And this is not a plug for Miracle Grow. If anything, I I prefer not to use um, you know the more expensive stuff. Just want to use something cheap. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. Just a little update um, on the garden. We've got uh, some nice growth going on over there. Nice growth. <laughs> hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey. Don't peck my eyes out. Just don't peck my eyes out. Okay. Oh, okay.